Should you rejoice today? That's the question, and I find the answer in Psalms chapter 118. Good morning, Songs for the Summer. Reading one chapter every day through the book of Psalms. Rejoice in the Lord, for this is the day the Lord hath made. And yet, if you ask people in the world, should I rejoice today? Do I have anything to give praise to God for? If you look at the homeless population in America, it will break your heart. It'll grieve your spirit. If you look at all the changes that have happened in public education, it just breaks your heart. More money is spent in education than ever before. And I'll let you do the research. Are kids learning more today? Are their grades competitive with academics in the rest of the world per capita, per dollar? You know, when you look around at the economy, the interest rates, the health problems that we face, and I ask you the question, should we rejoice today? The world could easily say to you, there's not one good reason in the world to be happy today. But when I open the word of God, I discover that the Bible says, this is the day the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Two reasons King David gives to you to rejoice today is number one, Oh my, there's a beaver early this morning. That is so amazing. I need to be real, real quiet as I go by. I don't want to disrupt him. Oops, he just splashed and went under. Oh my, what a beautiful day. King David, as I was saying, gives us two great reasons why we should rejoice. Number one, because God answers prayer. Number two, because God gives us victory. Here's what the Bible says. This is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. The Lord is good. God answers prayer. His faithful love endures forever and ever. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me. Should you rejoice today? God answers prayer, and he will set you free. Number one, God answers prayer. Number two, God is for you. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look to God in victory and triumph at those who want to harm me, who want to hurt me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trudge the governments. Oh my, look at all of the birds and the wildlife this morning. There's another beaver. God gives you victory. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. Rejoice, for this is the day the Lord hath made, and I will be glad and rejoice in it. Today, God is going to bless you. Today, God is going to open up doors for you. Today, God's grace is going to go before you, and things that you've always struggled with will all of a sudden seem to just fall in alignment. Things that have just been uphill and so very, very difficult, God's going to be with you. 
He's going to guide you through the forest and across the cliff, up the river and through the valley. God loves you. God answers prayer. And God gives to you victory. Songs for the summer. Psalms chapter 118.